what's something that's actually incredibly fucking misogynistic, but everyone just ignores it? Something about the trope of men getting mad at the men that their girlfriends cheat on them with does not sit right with me. Let me explain. For example, in the first episode of Alice in Borderland, Karube is seen making out with a woman. And then that woman's boyfriend busts into the room and starts beating up Karube. So why are you beating up Karube instead of getting mad at your girlfriend first? Is it because you see her as an object that Karube stole from you? Because that's what it looks like to me. It just doesn't seem right with me that men's first reaction to their girlfriends cheating on them is to blame it on other men instead of acknowledging that your girlfriend made that decision. What's something that's actually incredibly fucking misogynistic, but everyone just ignores it? The way that we hate everything that teenage girls like. Nah. Their music tastes, boy bands, Justin Bieber, Shawn Mendes, those types of people. Their choice in films and literature, romance films and movies, Twilight, all those types of things. We hate them because teenage girls like them. Okay, what's something that's actually incredibly fucking misogynistic, but everyone just ignores I've been waiting for this one. Bro, the entire process of a wedding. Actually, not the entire process, but the fact that the groom has to ask the bride's dad for her hand in marriage. Hello? No, I don't need my dad's approval. I do not have to ask my dad who I can and cannot marry. I am my own person. This is not the 1950s. It doesn't stop there. He has to walk me down the aisle to hand me off to another man? <clears throat> That's disgusting. My dad's still gonna walk me down the aisle because it's tradition. But it doesn't change the fact that that stems from misogyny. Because they used to view women as property and the dad owned the daughter and he's handing her off to another man who is going to own her. Again, I'm still gonna get handed off to another man, but that's solely because it's tradition. It does not mean I'm actually property. Okay, what's something that's actually incredibly fucking misogynistic, but everyone just ignores it? <clears throat> Fat women in movies, 100,000% every time. Whether it's a lead role, side character, minor character, whatever it is, they're always there for comedic purposes, kind of insecure, undesirable, never the sexy one, never desirable always comedy don't ever talk to me about amy schumer and i feel pretty fuck that bitch and every statement she makes in that movie but even queens like melissa mccarthy rebel wilson lost weight because they wanted to be taken more seriously and given different roles in hollywood that shit got old super quick literally the only counter example i can think of is that girl from euphoria I've never even seen that show, and I know about her because it's so rare to see a fat woman playing a different role that I've never even seen it, and I know about it. What's something that's actually incredibly fucking misogynistic, but everyone just ignores it? The fact that it's called the wizarding world. If you have gendered terms for magical people, wizard and witch, but the world as a whole is named after the male term, that is sexist. Also, there is a much bigger negative connotation on the word witch than there is wizard. There weren't the Salem wizard trials. A man being smart, a man having opinions, a man being able to do things like math weren't considered dangerous. Just if a woman could do those things. By continuing to use the word witch to describe female identifying magical people, you are putting all of those negative stereotypes on them. What's something that's actually incredibly fucking misogynistic, but everyone just ignores? Dress code. Dress code. Let me explain. Dress code is one of the earliest symptoms of rape culture in America. What is rape culture? Rape culture is basically victim blaming and blaming a woman for an assault that happens to her or other victims. Dress code at its core is grown adults sexualizing little girls and blaming them for distracting their male classmates. It teaches young girls from as early as elementary school that their bodies are property and if other people want to sexualize them, that's their fault as little girls and not the adults sexualizing them or the boys sexualizing them. So what happens to a little girl when she wears shorts that are a little too short because it's all that she can afford? She is punished for it. She is told that it is her fault and she needs to change so that other people will not sexualize her. That is instilling a victim culture mindset not only on that little girl but on every single person growing up in the education system in the United States. And that misogyny seeps into how we treat survivors today in america okay what's something that's actually incredibly fucking misogynistic but everyone just ignores it? calling someone a pussy to like say that they're weak but then saying someone has balls to say that they're like brave 
you know? Like, that's plain misogyny. What's something that's actually incredibly fucking misogynistic, but everyone just ignores it? So I know I'm a dude, but, like, I feel like I've noticed this. I don't know if I, if I can say this, but, um, you know, like, the, the voice burn or whatever it's called, where people... Okay, my mom's singing, but that makes her happy, so I won't stop her, but, like, okay. Who's that guy, Corpse Daddy? You know how his voice is like, hey, what's up, guys? And it has a burn to it. Everybody thinks it's sexy, but when a girl has like that kind of burn, um, like the Kardashians or like Paris Hilton, like when women have that voice burn or whatever it's called, like people equate that to them being dumb, but not sexy. You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe I'm, I don't know. I, I think both are fine, but it's just like, I've just noticed that when men have that kind of thing, they're seen as sexy and then when women have that they're seen as dumb i don't know okay what's something that's actually incredibly fucking misogynistic but everyone just ignores it when people say that women can have sex whenever they want don't get friend zoned can get free stuff that women as a whole are so beautiful you only think that women are so beautiful because your brain literally ignores the existence of ugly women. Like, they've done studies. When you're looking around, you're less likely to see and acknowledge the presence of women who you're not sexually attracted to because of your trained conception of femininity and what womanhood is. So then you think you're complimenting women as a whole, but really you're just denying the womanhood of women who are not conventionally attractive. Let women be ugly. Okay, what's something that's actually incredibly fucking misogynistic, but everyone just ignores it? The fact that severe period cramps are just normalized, they're not normal. They're usually a symptom of some pretty big issues actually. But oftentimes when women complain about their pain and try to talk to their doctors about this, they're told they're being overdramatic and too emotional. They're made fun of by their families to the point where they gaslight themselves into thinking their pain isn't even real. This is even worse for black women and women of color. If someone tells you they're in pain, take that shit seriously. Okay, what's something that's actually incredibly fucking misogynistic, but everyone just ignores? Personal finance for men tells them to invest their money to grow their wealth, and personal finance for women tells them to save and budget. Not only does this imply that women are irresponsible and don't know how to save money, but it doesn't help. You can save all you want. You're not going to get rich that way. You have to invest. What's something that's actually incredibly fucking misogynistic, but everyone just ignores it? Society applauds and encourages men to talk about money, make money, and ask for more money. But when women do the same, we're told that we're greedy or ungrateful or that talking about money is tacky. Okay, what's something that's actually incredibly fucking misogynistic, but everyone just ignores it? Muslim men going for girls fresh out of high school for marriage, even though they're grown themselves. It doesn't sound misogynistic at first, but let me explain. In Arab culture, women have a timeline to get married, and if you pass a certain timeline, it's like, no one's going to want you anymore, you're old. It's like there's this timeline where you're like, you're hot and you're young, and that's when guys are going to want you, and if you're old, no one's going to want to marry you, so hurry up. And I don't feel like this timeline exists for men, and even if it does, it's like, they can still get married if they're grown. But whereas if you're a woman and you're grown, it's a lot harder to get married. And a lot of the times, this is Muslim men going for younger girls. Specifically, only younger girls and would like refuse to marry an older lady. But let's not forget that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam married someone who was significantly older than him. And he also did marry Aisha, who was a lot younger than him. But within our culture, no one's going to marry someone a lot older, most likely younger than them. By only going for these younger girls, you're feeding into our misogynistic culture. What's something that's actually incredibly fucking misogynistic, but everyone just ignores it? The stereotype that bisexual women are just experimenting and will end up with a man, and bisexual men are just closeted and also will eventually end up with a man. And just to preface this by saying that there's absolutely nothing wrong with being bisexual and dating or ending up with a man, you're still totally valid. But the stereotype that if you had the choice, you would end up with a man because you'll be more fulfilled that way. Uh, I could write an entire essay about how most biphobia comes from misogyny. Okay, what's something that's actually incredibly fucking misogynistic, but everyone just ignores it? The fact that the words twink and bottom have become derogatory terms that are used against uh, gay men. Um, you know, mask for mask is like blatantly misogynistic, but this kind of thing 
this is low-key misogynistic, and we all need to realize that and stop. Okay, what's something that's actually incredibly fucking misogynistic, but everyone just ignores? The fact that One Direction isn't taken seriously as a band because their fan base is primarily, uh, like, teenage girls in, like, the 12 to 18, I guess, range. Obviously, there were outliers, but, like... And what especially pisses me off is that some people will say, like, oh, the Beatles are the greatest band of all time, when the Beatles had the exact same fan base like in their prime when they were first starting out and then those people go on and say all this shit about one direction and it's like if you don't like one direction's music just like on its own like that's fine you don't have to like their music but if you use their fan base as an excuse for why their music is bad that's that's literally misogyny like <laughs>